One of the most common questions I receive is, how do I use Kali Linux to hack wireless networks? In other words, I've got Kali Linux, or Kali Linux if you prefer, running on my physical laptop or within a virtual machine. How do I get it to crack wireless networks? So in this example, I've got two Wi-Fi adapters. One of the most important things you need is a Wi-Fi adapter that supports monitor mode. So not all laptop Wi-Fi cards will be able to support that, so you may need to purchase an additional Wi-Fi adapter such as these two. Now I've got two alpha adapters here. I find that the alpha adapters work really well. The first one is this one, which you can purchase from Amazon for $36, and this Wi-Fi adapter, which is about 40 US dollars on amazon.com. So there are a few things that you need. You firstly need Kali Linux installed either directly on your laptop or running in a virtual machine. In this example, I've got Kali running within a virtual machine on Windows. I often get the question, why do I do it that way? Just because it makes it easier for more people to learn Kali and more people to learn ethical hacking. Rather than having to have a machine that you install Kali on, you can just run it on your Windows laptop as an example. In this video, I showed you how to download Kali, how to get it imported into VMware Workstation Player, basically how to get it set up. I've already got that working here. I'm using the latest release at the time of this recording of Kali 2020.4. And once again, I've got these two Wi-Fi adapters, which I purchased from Amazon. So I've got the 036NH adapter, and I've got the 036NHA adapter. Now, before we continue, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. That really does help me with the YouTube robots. Please consider liking this video and clicking on the bell to get notifications when I upload a new video. I cover a whole range of technical topics on my YouTube channel. Now, one of the issues that you'll have with these adapters is they don't support five gigahertz. These adapters only support 2.4 gigahertz, but they're a good adapter to start with because they work automatically with Kali. You don't have to do anything extra I found. I've tested a range of adapters with Kali Linux, and I found that some adapters require that you install additional software to make them work. These don't, these simply work out of the box. So I'll demonstrate that right now. You get a bunch of DVDs with these, which we don't need. All we need is the adapter, and then we've got this USB cable, which we can use to connect to our computer. Okay, so once again, I'm running Windows 10 on this laptop, and I've got Kelly running within VMware Workstation Player version 16. Opening up a command prompt, if I type IP address, what you'll notice is that no Wi-Fi network card is available at the moment on this virtual machine. So what I'm gonna do is take this network adapter and I'll plug it in to this Windows computer. So I'll plug it in here. Now, as soon as I've done that, I'm asked by VMware Workstation Player, do I wanna connect it to the host or to the virtual machine? In this case, I'm gonna connect it to the virtual machine and click OK. So back in Kali now, if I type IP address, notice I have a wireless LAN adapter. You could manually add that by going to player, removable devices, and selecting the network adapter. You can see that it displays as the following. So all I did was take this alpha Wi-Fi adapter, plug it into the Windows computer, and tell Windows that this should be connected to the virtual machine rather than the native Windows operating system. Same process would be done using this Wi-Fi adapter. I've specifically chosen these two Wi-Fi adapters because it's very simple to get started with them. Okay, so we've done the initial setup on Kali. The next thing we need is a Wi-Fi network to attack. And for that, I've got this TP-Link home router, if you like. So Wi-Fi router. And what I'll do now is show you how to discover this using Kali. And we're gonna use a very simple Python script to do that called Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi makes it very simple to find Wi-Fi networks and then attack them. But initially we need a Wi-Fi network. So I've got this one configured. I'll put it over here so that you can see it. So that's the Wi-Fi network that we're going to attack. The application we're gonna use is Wi-Fi which is once again a Python script for auditing wireless networks. This makes it much easier than trying to remember 
all the command arguments and switches that you need to manually run a bunch of tools. This script is designed to use all known methods for retrieving the password of a wireless access point or router. And it includes these attacks. There are some WPS attacks, there's some WPA attacks, and there's some WEP attacks that can be used. Wi-Fi was specifically written for Kali. You can also use Parrot Security if you want, but in this example, I'm using Kali. They mention the required tools here. You need a wireless card that supports monitor mode. And that's why I'm using these alpha network cards. These two are very simple to set up once again and support monitor mode. You're required to have this software. A lot of this is pre-built into this version of Kali. So you'll notice to set this up, you need one command. It's very simple to, to set this up. There is optional but recommended software that you can use, which is these. So you can read more about this tool on GitHub. Fantastic application. Also shows you the various types of attacks that can be used but I'm gonna keep this very simple. And what I'm gonna do is simply run Wi-Fi, and I won't put sudo in. Notice we told that this application must be run as root, so you need to put sudo in. So sudo Wi-Fi. But before I actually run it, I'm gonna use help just to show you the options. Put in my password. I'm using defaults here, so username and password is Kali. So we told that this is a Wi-Fi auditing tool there are a whole bunch of options here. You can specify which interface to use, which channel. I'm just gonna allow it to choose the default interface, which is the current Wi-Fi adapter installed here. You can specify web options, you can specify WPA, WPS, and so forth. But all I'm gonna do is run the application. And notice it's enabling monitor mode on the Wi-Fi adapter and then it's looking for targets. So it's basically scanning, looking for Wi-Fi networks. And in this example, you can see it's discovered a whole bunch of Wi-Fi networks. And all I need to do now is choose the Wi-Fi network that I'm going to attack. So you can let it continuously scan to discover networks. When you're ready, press Control C, and then you can specify the network that you wanna attack. So in my example, I'm gonna specify one. You can use commas if you want to attack a whole bunch of networks. So while that's busy, notice here that this is the SSID. This is the channel. This is the encryption. This is the power. And we told whether WPS is supported and if there's a client connected to the network. So on this Mac as an example, I'll connect to that network. So you can see I'm connected and I can connect to the TP-Link router. And notice I'm logged in. So I can see network information, such as the WAN IP address, LAN information. I can see the wireless information. So I can see the wireless network name. I can see the wireless security. You can see that WPA2 pre-shared keys used. Encryption is AES, and this is the actual password on that Wi-Fi network. So that's the password that we're going to try and crack. Now it uses a default password file, and that password is not in the password file, so it probably won't be able to crack it. So I'll demonstrate how to point it to a specific file to crack the password. We can also see that some applications are missing here, and we can see that they're conflicting processes. So if we have problems, we may need to run it with a kill option. So I'll show you one command that allows me to specify which password dictionary to use. You can get very large password dictionaries off the internet. I'll show you how to use one that's built into Kali Linux. It's got millions of passwords in it. You can install the recommended software to try additional attacks against the wireless access point. But basically using one command with some options to crack a wireless network. Okay, so that took a while, but didn't work. None of the attacks worked. One of the problems is that we're missing some of the tools, so they couldn't be used. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run it again. Now, before I start the attack again, Alice shows me that I've got a dictionary file here. So this is a custom dictionary that I've created. Now, Kelly does come with a default dictionary or word list as it's called. 
So if I go to the word list directory, Kali has this built in rock you dictionary or word list. So to unzip that file, I'm gonna use gzip dash d file name. And I need to use sudo for that. That will unzip this dictionary file which contains millions of passwords. So ls again shows me that I've got the rock u text file. If I use less to view that file, you'll notice that this just has millions of potential passwords in it. So you could point Wi-Fi to this to use this as the dictionary or the words to use to try and attack the Wi-Fi network. We can see how many passwords are in that file by using wc-l. And as you can see here, there are 14 million odd passwords in this file. So you could attack the Wi-Fi network using that word list or dictionary or password file, 14 million passwords in that file. That's gonna to take too long for our example. So I'm gonna use a smaller password dictionary. And then what I'm gonna do, I'll just clear the screen. And what I'm gonna do now is run sudo Wi-Fi WPA, because I only want to attack WPA networks dictionary. My Wi-Fi password file, and I'm going to use kill to kill any instances of software that may interfere with this attack. So it's now running. We can specify our targets. Wi-Fi has discovered a range of networks once again. I'll press Control C at this point. The network that I wanna attack is the TP-Link network. So that's number five. And what I'll do now to speed things up is I'm gonna press Control C. I'm asked, do I wanna continue or exit? I'm gonna say C to continue. So that skips the first attack. Starts running the second attack. Press Control C again. Press C to continue. It's now running the pin attack, press control C, C to continue. It's skipping this password attack because the required tools are missing. It's now trying to do a WPA handshake attack. It captured a file that contains a valid handshake. It's now running aircrackng with the Wi-Fi password word list and it's cracked the WPA handshake pre-shared key being secure one, two, three. This is the handshake file. This is the password. The saved password information is stored in this file. So Alice shows me the cracked.txt file over there. Cat cracked.txt. There is the information about the Wi-Fi network. So one command has allowed me to crack this Wi-Fi network. You could once again use the Rocky file, which has millions of passwords in it, to try and launch an attack against a Wi-Fi access point. So if someone's configured their wireless access point with a poor password, you'd be able to crack it. I've been